I would like to begin today by joining with the others in congratulating the American University of Central Asia on its 25th anniversary. We at the U.S. Embassy are very proud of our close association with ALTSA, and we recognize your tremendous accomplishments over the past 25 years. Congratulations, and may your success continue for many years to come. It is a real honor to be with you today, especially to be here with the students. Not only am I honored, but I'm also a bit humbled. Humbled because I know what you students have accomplished to be here today, and also because I have some idea of who you will become. I come into contact with graduates of AUCA every day, and I'm always impressed with their abilities, their incredible achievements, and their contributions to their communities. Обращаясь к родителям, всеми и друзьям первоклассников АУЦА, присутствующим здесь сегодня, я хочу поблагодарить вас за все то, что вы сделали, чтобы поддержать этих замечательных студентов. Как родитель, я имею некоторые представления о всех привезенных вам вами жертвах. Уверен, что в выборе в пользу АУЦА вы представляете этим молодым людям несравнимые возможности для успешного будущего. Спасибо вам. Now, freshmen, I was, I was asked to come here to speak to you today. So um, I just want to say that being here today and seeing your faces and feeling all the energy in this room, I think back to almost 30 years ago when I started university. A lot has happened to me since then, so I'm going to use my few minutes at this podium here to share with you some advice about how you should use your time here at AUTSA. You are in an enviable position. You've just finished high school, you're young. You're headed to Central Asia's premier academic institution and you have your whole life ahead of you. What I want you to remember is this. Your time here at AUTSA is an investment in your future. The more you invest now, the more dividends you will reap throughout the remainder of your life. I'm not talking here about investing your money. I'm talking about investing yourselves, investing your time and efforts into your future. These are crucial years because they're preparing you for your own personal adventure, for the many exciting years ahead of you. Be wise about how you use your time. As part of your investment, take advantage of the special opportunities that AUTSA offers, among them your incredible professors and instructors. They're here because of their knowledge and experience, and they're also here because they want to help you. Let me give you a personal example from my life. During my time at university, one of my professors offered to work individually with students on their papers for his class. I was one of the few students who took him up on his offer. And over the course of the semester, I spent several hours with him in his office, going over the many drafts of my papers and my essays. That professor taught me to write well. More than any other person in my life, he did more to develop my writing skills. And my investment of time and effort in developing that skill has been an immense benefit to me throughout my life. If you graduate university with only one skill, it should be the ability to write well. Regardless of your field of study or work, if you can't write well, you are limiting your potential for success. Another opportunity to AUTSA you should take advantage of are the many extracurricular activities. Through these clubs and activities, you will develop friendships, you will discover and develop new talents, and most importantly, you'll learn how to find balance in your life. I made the mistake of not taking part in clubs and organized groups my first two years at university. I was pretty unhappy. My life was quite dreary. My life changed immensely when I joined a few clubs and expanded my interests beyond studies and work. One club I joined was the Mountaineering Club. I spent time in the mountains hiking and learning to, to rock climb. Believe it or not, I now recognize that I was investing in my future. Many years later, when I began dating my future wife, 
I took her climbing often. She fell in love with me, not because I was a hard-working graduate student in Slavistica. I was a graduate student, but because I was a graduate student who also enjoyed hiking, mountain climbing, cooking, music, and a variety of other activities. Instead of thinking I was a, a nerd, a botanic, she thought I was a krutoi botanic. I fooled her. I fooled her. Yes, I'm lucky. But I wouldn't have been able to fool her if I hadn't taken part in extracurricular activities in university and graduate school. Finally, you should set goals and work towards those goals. Since you're here today, I know that you already understand the importance of goals. But just know that now is not the time to slow down or relax. Now is the time to invest even more in your future. Goals will give you direction, they'll help you develop yourself, and they'll keep you from wasting valuable time watching TV, following your friends on social media, or playing video games. Of course, over time, your goals will change. But if you have invested in your future, that won't be a problem. When I was in university, I wanted to be a professor. However, after I spent a few years teaching, I changed my mind. I then decided to pursue a career in civil society, and I worked at an NGO. But after a few years of that, I changed my mind again. Eventually, I became a diplomat, which I've been doing for 15 years. I was able to change my goals. I was even able to change my career because I had spent many years investing in my future. I had taken advantage of professors, teachers, and other mentors. I had participated in a variety of activities, allowing me to find and develop new talents and I had used my time wisely to develop my skills and abilities. In closing, I, I hope each of you will consider how you can best use your time at AUCA as an investment in your future. And I wish you all success, health, and happiness as you each begin your own personal adventure. Spasibe, chongrahman.